This is the chords of Molly Hatchett, and I've had some requests to feature some of Molly Hatchett's music, and these guys are legends of Southern rock. They formed in Jacksonville, Florida in 1971, and their debut album in 1978, Molly Hatchett, just blew up and definitely influenced a lot of Southern rock musicians, but also Molly Hatchett influenced a lot of hard rock and metal musicians, too. These heavy and aggressive riffs, you know, and the imagery and stuff on their album covers, and just the whole package, you know, and this kind of southern rock wave. It kind of followed, you know, Skinner and Allman Brothers, and you had bands like Molly Hatchet, The Outlaws, Blackfoot, and some groups like that. And definitely, you know, Molly Hatchets are legends of southern rock and rock music. Molly Hatchet's glory days was from 1971 until around 1980, and then after the 70s moved into the 80s, that's when the band started to have, you know, member changes, and certain members were ODing and dying and they had problems with their labels, and they had all sorts of problems, you know, entering the 80s. And they're still active today, actually. I don't think there are any original members in the current incarnation of Molly Hatchet, but I still respect groups like that, because most of these members of Molly Hatchet have, dis have died. So there's not really, you know, the core members to tour and continue the legacy. So even though there aren't any original members in the current version of Molly Hatchet, they're still keeping that music alive and that legacy alive, you know, by touring and kind of keeping, keeping their music, you know, in people's ears. I did notice after I recently featured Leonard Skinner and the Allman Brothers in Chordplay episodes earlier this year, there was just a flood of Molly Hatchet and also Blackfoot requests. So we're going to get to Blackfoot, but we're featuring Molly Hatchet right now. And for those of you that have been patiently waiting, you know, after your request, you're probably sitting there thinking, hell yeah. Or I'm sorry, I didn't pronounce that right. It's hell yeah. Speaking of hell yeah, the opening, that's Bounty Hunter, the opening track from the first Molly Hatchet album. Something like this. <laughs> So it starts with this busy kind of A7 riff, and you're just bouncing off the open A. And you got this little melody, you know, A to G, and then A to B right there, like that. And the second time it's just slightly different. You're just moving to that B a little bit earlier. three guitarists in the original version of uh, Molly Hatchet. So throughout this lesson, I'm going to be combining different guitars together, because there's one guitar right there. And then another guitar does. But I kind of add that single note riff. That's just the low E open, F sharp, the G. And then you hear an A power chord, but I'm just moving back to that riff. So I'm doing all this, you know, with just one guitar. Then you hear the riff change to D right there, D5. So you're banging that D5, and then you got that little single note riff right here. Right there. And then a 
G power chord right there. And then you hear this part harmonized, and one of the guitars is doing... So you're just kind of climbing up right there. And that G to A, and then that C, C sharp to D to E. And then right back to the A riff. Next up is Whiskey Man, the opening track from Flirting with Disaster, and this song is revealing kind of a signature chord move in Molly Hatchett's music, and that's these inversions and slash chords. Something like this. <laughs> this partial C, so that's like a C over E right there. And I guess you could also think of that as part of an A minor 7. But I'm thinking of that as C over E. And you want to slide into that E and then just, you know, let that fretted part here on the 5th fret ring. You know, you don't want to let the, the E ring with that. You're just sliding into that E note and then the chord. And then you want to do the same thing right here. It's like a D over F sharp. And then I'm hearing this uh, D to E move and then that uh, partial C right there. So I'm hearing slides the first time and then that last time I'm hearing a hammer on right there. And they're also hitting the chords, like those partial chords twice uh, in the second half. Like a C over E and a D over F sharp back to that C over E. Next up is The Creeper from the first Molly Hatchet album. It's kind of a variation of Bounty Hunter, but it's something like this. <laughs> actually two guitars that are harmonizing so I'm just combining what's going on into one guitar like that but you're hearing this kind of funky you know single note and that's actually where it's harmonized there's one guitar sliding D to E and grabbing G and another guitar grabbing D to E and grabbing C so it's like a little partial chord but it's actually harmonized but you can combine those two guitars like that a little different that way compared to harmonizing you know with another guitarist but if you're playing this by yourself you can totally just do it with one guitar like that <laughs> second time they're sliding the C to D and then a D power chord to a C and I think that's also harmonized. I think the guitars are splitting that up and another one's doing, you know, one's playing the chord lower and one's playing the chord higher. I'm not really sure what the third guitarist is doing but that's definitely what two of the three guitarists are doing on this song. Next up is Beating the Odds, the title track from the album by the same name, and it's something like this. Cool riff. Cool, 
kind of funky uh, groove too. So you're kind of doing this like boogie blues thing in A. So it's an A5 to an A6, and then you're also playing with the A7 right there, grabbing that G note. And then you hear that C to C sharp. And then do that first part again. And then the first time, end on a D5 right there. And then do it again. The second time, just end on a D5 to a C5. And then you repeat the whole thing. Double Talker from the Beat and the Odds album, and this is a cool example of mixing, you know, chords with single notes like this. <laughs> C power chord right there, and then we're doing this G7 riff. So right there you're kind of playing with G and that F, and then C to D, C to D, and then F to D, and then B flat to G. Like that. First time through B flat five to a C five. Repeat the first part. Right there, you're gonna do. So you're kind of changing that riff the second time. So you're doing everything the same, but you're gonna end on B flat to G right there. And then also you're gonna end with F five to C five which is how we started the song, like this. Next up is Dreams I'll Never See from the first Molly Hatchet album, and this is technically a cover of a Greg Allman song, but then the Molly Hatchet version I think is actually borrowing from the Buddy Miles version, and Buddy Miles recorded a version of this song in 1970 on his album Them Changes, which uh, he was working with Hendrix around that same time. But I'm pretty sure that's the inspiration, you know, that, that Molly Hatchet pulled for this song. And it's something like this. <laughs> starts with this D sus4 to a D major, you know, partial chord, to C major down here, and then back to D major, and then you hear that riff moving from D sus4 to D major, like that. You know, really basic, and really quiet. second guitar eventually come in up here. Kind of, you know, mimicking what's going on in the first guitar there. That D sus4 to D major is actually uh, kind of answered with this, it's like a G over B to D over A. You know, that 70s kind of inversion right there. You know, really cool. And then it changes. Um, and with 
that change it's like a G5 to an F5 to the Hendrix chord you know E7 sharp 9 and then C to B flat 5 to an A7 sharp 9 so you got a double shot of Hendrix right there <laughs> solo in that song. It's awesome. Our right, last but not least is Flirting with Disaster, and I'm going to combine two guitar parts to try to, you know, pull this off with just one guitar, like this. <laughs> guitar is just pedaling that open E. And then here's those trademark, you know, slash chords or inversions. So you're sliding into this uh, D over F sharp. You still hear that low E, you know, kind of pedaling in the background. And then an E power chord, and you hear it just kind of lazily slid off. And then you still hear that pedaling E. You know, uh, you hear like this harmony guitar part up there. We're not gonna worry about that though. This is chord play, so we're working. We're working on chords here. power chord and then it's an A over C sharp and then just single notes D C sharp B into an A power chord <laughs> song for sure. That's going to wrap this episode with the chords of Molly Hatchet and I want to thank everybody for the request for this band because I actually dove in deeper to Molly Hatchet's music than I ever have you know in preparation for this episode and I really enjoyed kind of swimming around and checking out you know their world or their music you know really cool stuff and for the Blackfoot fans out there that have been asking for Blackfoot don't worry Blackfoot's coming and I did do a little sneak peek into some of their music and they have some great chord based ideas and you know, chord uh, ideas hiding in their music. So if you, even if you don't really know Blackfoot, if you see I post, you know, a Blackfoot chord play, watch it because there's some really cool stuff hiding in their music, just like Molly Hatchet. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to my lessons, and I'll be back before you know with more content and material. Thank you.